the ministers of the new covenant ministry every day have to come to see the face of Jesus Christ. In the beginning when the fellowship say go to France I told the brothers, the, bro the, bro the, the co-worker said, go to France to be a seasonal worker. Have you heard about seasonal worker? I never heard of it. I went, I came out from the meeting and I knew, Lord, what is seasonal worker? I tell you, the Lord sometimes can use the members of the body to help us, that he can shine on you. I was walking with that brothers to the training meeting in the afternoon and I turned and I said, hey Travis, when somebody asks you to be a seasonal worker, what do you mean by that? He said, brother Tom, you don't know what is seasonal worker? You better go to Mexico. I said, oh. He said, sometime when we need you to do a job without you to be a permanent employee, we just pay you as a contractor. You do the job, you finish the job, you get your pay. That's it. I said, that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> but don't you think that we need the Lord to shine, to speak to us? I just felt like the Lord is shining to us all the time. I, I share quite a bit with the saints in, uh, in, in, in Paris and also during the gospel trip. To go to serve the Lord, you know the first time when I took my flight from Marseille to Marseille, at that moment the light just shined. The Lord said, this time, inside, this time, no return. And I said, what? No return. And inside, I don't know why. I'm the first one on the, in the plane, you know, on the plane. And when the, when the, when the light shines and touch you, and I just, I just draw my tears. Sometimes I, I, I did ask, Lord, you might make, pro probably you make a mistake. I'm just a worthless ves vessel. But yet the Lord say, I have mercy on me. And Isaiah 6, 8 just shine on me. Who do I send? I'm here, send me. And the Lord said, not because that you go by yourself, but because I have sent you. And that is the light that shines on each one of us. Every day we should have a divine transaction with the Lord. In whatever we are doing, the Lord is in us as the indwelling one. And He is guiding us into all the reality. Whether we are there or not, he will say that I'm the one who is going to guide you into all the reality of who God is. Amen.